Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Everything is Tech here, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and review the Escort Passport 9500 IX radar. So what does a radar detector do, and what is it really? A radar detector is basically a device, such as one that I'm holding in my hand. It basically allows you to detect if a police officer is monitoring your speed using his radar gun. So in that aspect, it basically allows you to reduce your car speed before you get a ticket for speeding. The best thing about these radar detectors is that it is legal in basically all the states but Virginia and Washington DC. So how do these radar detectors work? It's really simple. Basically all that happens is once a radar gun is out, it sends out a frequency which allows the officer to detect your speed limit. When you do have a radar, when that frequency hits your car, it also hit the radar and that radar detector will start beeping depending on the frequency detected. These frequencies received by your radar detector are divided into three types of bands, the X band, the K band, and the KA band. The only big difference is the strength in these different frequencies and truth be told, police officers use all three of them. Luckily for us, the Escort radar does more than just detect these three bands. For one, this radar detector shows you on the screen which band is detected, whether it's a KA band, a K band, or an X band, and it also has lines to show how strong or weak the signal is. These lines are also accommodated by raspy beeping noises, and, and obviously the louder and harsher the beeping noise is, the stronger the signal is, and vice versa. Here's a really quick example of what the radar sounds like. This radar detector also tells you how fast you're going. It actually tells you the speed on the screen itself. This radar detector also has some cool features like it'll tell you if you pass by a red light camera or a speed trap. You can actually mark it down on the radar and the next time you pass by that same spot, the radar will go off reminding you that you marked that location. Finally, one of the last additional features on this radar is it actually tells you if your car is directly targeted by a radar gun. So for example, if you're driving on the highway and a state trooper happens to point his radar gun directly at your car, the words laser will literally pop up. This radar also comes in three different types of settings while you're driving. The first type is auto, which is the default setting, and it gives you real-time radar performance based on your driving speed. The second type is auto no X, which basically is the auto setting without the X band. So whenever you drive past X bands, the radar won't go off. And finally, the third type is the highway setting, which gives you the highest sensitivity of the radar. Now that we have that covered, let's go ahead and take a really quick in-depth look at the radar detector. So taking a look at the buttons first, the first button on the top left is the GPS button. Basically, if you click on the button, it will turn the GPS function on or off. Over here is the sensitivity. There are three modes, auto, auto no X, and highway. Then over here is the power button, basically turns the radar on or off. The volume button, basically you can decrease how loud this radar is and increase it. As far as the sound goes, this radar is really loud just by itself. I like to keep mine on the maximum volume. It can definitely get annoying sometimes when you're driving and your passengers will also probably think it's really annoying. Then over here is the mute button. There's also a mute button on the actual part which goes into your car socket so you can either use that which is easier to access or you can actually just click on the mute button from this radar itself. Over here is the mark button which basically will mark a location wherever you're driving and it will store it into its radar system. And then finally is the brightness button, basically allows you to increase or decrease the brightness on the screen. Over here is the screen itself, it lights up when you first plug it in your car. And this is the side that basically receives the frequency. On the left side you have a 3.5 millimeter audio input, which you can basically connect this to a speaker just in case if it's not loud enough, but I doubt you'll have to do that because this radar is really, really loud. Then you also have this network input, which basically you connect it to the socket of your car, the 12 volt socket in your car, and this is basically what allows the radar to be powered on. Or off. On the right side over here, the one input you have is the USB input. So then from this input, you can go ahead and connect this to your computer and update the software. And then finally, on the bottom of the radar, you have the speakers. Installing and connecting the radar is really quick and convenient. All you do is take the physical radar, then you take the telephone line and plug it into that telephone input on the radar itself. And then the other end of it, you just connect it into the 12 volt socket in your car. After that, all you have to do is turn your car on and the radar detector should automatically turn on. If it doesn't, just click the power on button and you're good to go. Now as far as how effective this radar detector is, I have to comment that it is really effective and I personally think it's definitely worth the money you pay for. For one, this Escort radar specifically has a higher sensitivity to the frequencies. So when you're driving and this radar detector picks up a frequency, you have a little longer time to react 
than compared to other radar detectors for this price range. And that's one of the biggest factors that actually makes people choose between radars because the more money you spend on a radar, the more sensitive it is to their frequencies, giving you more time to react. In my personal opinion, I think this is one of the better radars for the price because it's at a decent price and you get the bang for your buck with this radar, in my opinion. To be quite honest, this radar has also saved me many speeding tickets. I'll give you a quick example. One time I was driving on a back road and the speed limit on this road is 25, but everyone goes at least 40, 45. Me, you know, I was driving my car, I was going about 45 to 50, and my radar just started going off and I was on a hill. Eventually, when I got past the hill, I saw a police officer, surprisingly enough, with his radar going out on the side trying to get anyone going past 25, 30 miles an hour. So that just goes to show how awesome and effective this radar is. If I did not have a radar, I would have not even seen that officer and he would have tagged my speed before I even saw him. And usually that's really what happens a lot of the times. Many police officers are able to get your speed and you don't even see them and by the time you pass them it's way too late. Now even though this escort radar detector is so cool and awesome and effective there are a couple of loopholes you definitely have to consider. One of the loopholes is how the police officer is positioned while out with his radar gun and what I mean by this is some officers are smart enough to know that you have a radar detector and so in that sense they position themselves in such a way that maybe their frequency might be blocked off in the long range but as soon as you pass them their radar gun will go off your radar detector will go off and they'll physically see you speeding by those situations you really cannot avoid it because you'll be caught because it'll be way too late to react to when you see the police officer. The second loophole to this radar detector and basically any other radar detectors out there is that if you do pass a police officer who does not have his radar gun out, your radar detector won't go off. These detectors don't go off if you pass a cop, they only go off if you pass a police officer who has his radar gun off. So in that case, if a police officer is just roaming and you pass him going really fast, you know, even though he doesn't have his radar gun out and your radar detector does not go off, he could still basically pull you over. So all that being said, I definitely think this radar is worth the money. Why? Well, one of the reasons is that just even getting one speeding ticket in New Jersey is a hefty fine. And that hefty fine, instead of getting that one ticket, get a radar for about $300, $400, and that will already cover the expense of one or two speeding tickets. And mind you that this radar detector has saved me numerous amount of times, so I'm already looking at being saved from about a couple tickets right off the bat. In that case, it's definitely a bargain for the price. Now that being said, you shouldn't go purposely speeding crazy amounts even if you have a radar detector because one it's just not safe and two you can still get caught like I mentioned there are a couple loopholes using a radar detector and you can still get caught all of that being said this radar comes in two colors it comes in blue and red and here are pictures of how they both look I really I don't care I got the blue one because it was cheaper back in the day but nowadays I think they don't make the blue one anymore so it really just depends where you get it from the price can run you anywhere from about $350 to about $450 for this radar so this basically concludes my video. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. And if you are thinking of getting one of the radar detectors, I hope this video might have helped you narrow down your choices. If you guys want some more information specifically on this radar, I also have a link to the owner's manual down in the description box below. So you can go ahead and check that out to get some more information that I might have missed or not covered in this video. If you are planning to purchase this radar from Amazon, please go ahead and follow the link down below and use that link to purchase the item because it really does support the channel anyways i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for watching please subscribe like the video and share it and thank you once again for watching and hope you guys have a great day